So in this video, we are going to demonstrate how to uh, set up the uh, Cloudflare tunnels uh, with a new release of uh, the container image to access our Synology. But this time, we're going to be using the Cloudflare um, user interface. So uh, we log in into Cloudflare. Um, we choose the, the domain that we are managing from here. If you don't have one, uh, here is a link to a video in which you can get one for free. So this is the one that we have created some time ago. Um, we click here on the Zero Trust um, option uh, and uh, we get access to this um, uh, set of services. Uh, these are mainly, uh, you know, all the uh, Zero Trust services that the Cloudflare is uh, offering uh, the customers and if we click here on tunnels under access yeah, we will be able to see these uh, tunnels that we have created so these two here are the ones that we have um, created in the past um, which are configured using the uh, manual uh, way um, I leave you here a link of these videos and we are going to create now a new tunnel but this time as I said uh, using the uh, the new the new method um, we just give it a name let's call it YouTube uh, we click save and uh, this is the option that we uh, get now when we uh, create a, a tunnel if we go here into docker you will see that we get you get um, a full command that you can just copy and paste into your uh, terminal and uh, the whole setup is going to be done automatically. So we will be um, following this process um, and create a tunnel as we did in previous videos, but using this new release. As you can see here, this is uh, a valid method only if you use the uh, new image of uh, Cloudflare T. So, <clears throat> We are gonna we're gonna open the um, the Synology uh, DSM. This is my uh, local environment. This is um, uh, DSM uh, seven. Just uh, authenticate with my username and password. And um, here we can see the um, the uh, Docker um, engine manager included in, in Synology. So um, first thing that we have to to do is uh, download this uh, new uh, version of the uh, image which is gonna allow us to use this um, uh, automatic process. So let's go to the registry of Cloudflare D. We click on, uh, on the first option here, and we will get a bunch of uh, different uh, uh, images versions. Uh, as you saw, these guys are publishing a new one like every two weeks or something like that. So the one that we have to use is anything which is um, after 2022.5.0. So anything after this release is gonna be valid uh, to follow the process that I am explaining on this video. We download the image and um, wait for a few seconds. Here it is. Um, we go uh, double click on it um, so the process you will see is extremely simple let's create this uh, new container uh, i'll give it a name uh, youtube uh, for instance tunnel so we click on uh, advanced settings um, you can choose uh, to enable the auto restart in case you want this to start automatically when you reboot the uh, Synology. 
Um, you don't have to map any volume in this uh, in this case on the network. Um, I recommend you use this uh, the Docker uh, host uh, network so that you can get access to all, all your LAN. And then we go to the environment. There is nothing here that you have to change. So the only thing that we have to do is essentially to uh, complete this command here. So so for that, um, as we did before, well, this is the this is the um, this is the tunnel that we created uh, before. Yeah, it's uh, the name of Ray Assist. We will uh, remove it later. Um, let's create a tunnel, give it the name YouTube Test, for instance. We get, uh, we click Save Tunnel, and we will be getting this uh, command that we have to uh, we have to enter. Um, so let's uh, copy it just by clicking. We go back to our uh, Synology and we will be passing this command here. So the only thing that we have to do is remove the um, the beginning of the command, just remove docker, run the name of the image, and we just leave uh, the command itself. So it is tunnel slash, no, tunnel, no update, run, and then the token. So uh, what we will be getting by running this is we will be hosting in Cloudflare the configuration of this tunnel. So every time we start this tunnel, uh, it is going to load the configuration from Cloudflare. You will see we start a tunnel, it is this one here. Um, just double click. Uh, to see if it is working. It looks like it is. The logs uh, indicate that the tunnel has started. This is the idea of the tunnel. You know, you get all the configuration, uh, as you see here, is going to be, be be fetched from the um, from the uh, Cloudflare server. So, um, Let's uh, let's get back to uh, to Cloudflare now, and let's, uh, as you can see here, the tunnel is uh, connected, and the rest of the configuration is going to be done from here, from within Cloudflare user interface. So um, we will be adding these uh, uh, host names that are going to be creating the 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 rules on, on our DNS so that we can get access to our local environment. Um, so the first thing we have to do is um, uh, create a C name, which is going to be exposed uh, through Cloudflare and is going to uh, be connecting us to our uh, local environment. We don't uh, need a, a path here. Uh, we have to select which is the uh, protocol used to get access to the backend. And then we have to uh, provide the local environment IP address or name address of the machine that is hosting the service that we can access. So in, in, in our case, we are going to be trying to, um, let's save this. Um, uh, we will be uh, getting access to our uh, Synology uh, admin interface, uh, as we did in uh, in the previous videos. So, as you see here, well, uh, these are the these are the tunnels that we have. Um, this is the tunnel that we have created. It is active, as you see here. Let's remove. Let's get rid of this one that we created uh, at the beginning of the video. We don't need it. Um, so now uh, the rest of the configuration is going to be done essentially by uh, adding hosts to this tunnel. So uh, as you probably uh, remember from uh, previous videos, uh, all the magic happens when you define uh, the public host name that is going to be used to access uh, your local environment. So you, as you see here, we don't have any host name created yet. So let's create the first one here. 
Um, let's say, for instance, tube. Uh, well, this is the the protocol used, the IP address. So now, if you see here this error, this is this is the main reason why I believe this process might be easier, but it's less uh, it's less practical than the manual uh, than the manual way. The reason is essentially that uh, you will see uh, some errors here uh, when you start the tunnel and you create your host, and the reason is essentially because you are modifying the configuration of the tunnel, not where the tunnel is started, meaning in the local environment, but you're modifying it on the on the Cloudflare network. So every time you add a new host, I strongly recommend you stop the tunnel first, and then you uh, get back and uh, create the the subdomain or the C name of the server that you want to access. So if you do it this way, you can obviously you can complete all these all these settings. This is essentially you know uh, something that is uh, optional. We're not going to cover it now. So as you see, now that the tunnel is stopped, uh, Cloudflare is going to allow you to create this um, this new this new uh, C name. If you go back to uh, the DNS page on Cloudflare. And you just refresh the page, you will see that it will automatically uh, populate the new host, as you can see here. So it is it is gonna be doing uh, the whole uh, process automatically for you. And well, it is extremely simple. Uh, but as I said, the, 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 there are some uh, tricks that you have to have in mind because uh, uh, if uh, if we don't start the tunnel, <coughs> we won't be able to, to get access. And if we do the changes with the tunnel started, you will very likely get an error. Okay. So now that we have uh, added this, um, this uh, host name, we should be able uh, to get access to our Synology DSN uh, from, uh, from the internet using the uh, proxy service provided by by Cloudflare. So let's go here using the domain youtube.micasita.ga uh, and uh, yes, as you can see, here we are. We are accessing our uh, Synology. Let's uh, authenticate again, but this time we are accessing it from the outside world. Uh, we haven't opened any ports on our uh, router. We haven't done any change to our local network environment. This is just uh, using the tunnel from uh, from uh, Cloudflare. So as you can see here, this is the uh, you know um, SSL uh, connection uh, with a valid certificate, which is uh, giving us access to our local environment. It is the exact same uh, um, console that we are um, that we are uh, seeing here. Um, in our local environment, you see. So <clears throat> let's now add um, some more uh, services to our to our um, configuration. Let's uh, close the the access here. So let's say, yeah, well, remember you need to, yeah, my recommendation is just stop the tunnel before doing any changes so that you can uh, avoid uh, problems when adding new hosts. So let's uh, now create um, a host to access the, uh, the p-hole. I am running a, a p-hole uh, in my local environment and I would like to get access to the admin console here. So this time we're gonna be adding uh, a path uh, to get access to uh, to the service, the IP address is going to be uh, localhost again. But this time, I'm going to use the um, the port that I uh, exposed to uh, to uh, manage my IP hole, which is 80. In my case is 80 uh, So uh, let's call it my IP hole um, and just uh, click save host name. 
So when I save the host, you will see that uh, it will be added to the to the tunnel. You see here, and um, and we can um, um, let's say we well, let's just start the tunnel again. So let's try to get access to the. Uh, Let's check that uh, it has started without errors. It looks like it is. Yes. So you see here the ingress rules have been uh, have been adjusted, and the moment you start a tunnel, they are going to be downloaded to your uh, local environment. Let's refresh the DNS just to make sure that the host name has been added. And uh, uh, here it is. Yeah, and it is mapped to the uh, same tunnel you see here so now both host names both uh, C names are uh, pointing to the same tunnel so if I try to access now you will see my pihole my casita the GA well we get an error but this time look this is a 404 error and and this error is essentially because I have not used the uh, the path the file you know now, if I use the path that I have to uh, define on my ingress rules, I will be getting access to my uh, my uh, pihole. This is hosted uh, locally, but again, you're accessing it from uh, Cloudflare uh, through the tunnel that we have created at the beginning. So now, um, let's add a new one. Uh, let's say I want to access my Jellyfin server. Um, I essentially repeat the whole process again. Uh, this is going to be access HTTP, and this time the port is going to be 80, um, 8096. Um, I click, uh, I click save now. Let's get rid of this. Save the host name, and uh, well, you see, you see we. We get this um, we get this error message here, and the uh, the error message is probably because I forgot. Let me close this thing. I forgot to yeah. You see, I forgot to uh, <laughs> to stop the tunnel when I did this change. So let's stop and then try again. And this time I am. I'm guessing it will be yes it will be uh, yeah it works so as you see um, there are some tricks that you have to consider uh, personally I, I, I prefer the uh, let's say the, the manual way the old way of doing this thing but for some users it might be you know easier to uh, to manage the configuration of your channels from within the user interface and uh, well, this is the, the host that we have uh, created. It's pointing to the same tunnel, and let's try to get access to it from uh, from the internet. So it is jellyfin.micasita.ga. We're getting an error, and this time the error is oh, I forgot to <laughs> I forgot to start the tunnel. Let's just start the tunnel. Uh, let's make sure that it has no error and try to refresh it and yeah we get it okay so uh, I hope uh, you like the video um, or at least it was a little bit interesting for you thanks for watching and uh, have fun